Just Okay, hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to let you know a little bit about the two projects that we've recently done. Over the last few years, because of COVID, um, we really haven't been very active in the donations program. You would have heard a little bit about the huge food drive that was done over, that, over the really high-end impact of COVID. But apart from that, we haven't done a lot of our individual projects. So I'm happy to say that we've just completed two projects so far this year. We have two more to finish by the end of our fiscal year. So the first one, um, the first thing I want to let you know is, for those of you who don't know, all of the money that the club gets in from sponsorships in our bylaws, it's incorporated that 50% of that money goes towards sponsoring events. So all members that came here today, you paid a little bit less money for your ticket than we had to pay for your ticket to get in here. Um, so that's part of our, our, our strategy with that. We subsidize those events. The second thing we do is the other 50% of that money goes towards sponsorships. So I chair a committee of five people and we meet with local grassroots organizations and, and vet through some of their projects and try to see um, which ones would give us the best bang for the buck. Our projects are quite small compared to some of the other ones. We um, average around 25,000 baht per project, but we find people that are able to work magic with that, those few numbers of baht, and, and you'll see some of that here today. So the first one I want to talk to you about is the Changdao Hydroponic Project. So um, this is Win. He's one of our magical superstars, Win Runs Project Protein. And with Win, we joined, we went up to this local school in Changdao, we had purchased the entire kits to make a hydro hydroponic garden and all of the plants and all of the seedlings. I didn't know much about hydroponic gardens, but um, some of the big advantages to them is the plants grow so much faster. You're able to grow so much more in a small space. And most importantly, in some of these hill tribe areas, you use so much less water. So it's an ideal situation for these, for these um, the locations to be set up. You can see Wynn here in his element, he's teaching. We started the day off with uh, about 20 students and taught them all about sustainability and how this works and how you know plants grow so much healthier and quicker um, on a hydroponic system. The reason this was important is because all of these students are going to be the ones who are looking after these plants and uh, it's incorporated into their curriculum. And all of these plants are gonna be used in the lunches for the, for the students that they have. So it's really, um, it's really exciting to see them be able to participate in, in that whole cycle. So you can see them. This was a bad shot. Honestly, most of them were riveted to the instructions on how to look after a plant. Some of them may have been a little overwhelmed with all the information, but this school um, is a typical village school. There was children from five to six years old all the way up to 18 years old. But um, anyways, they did, all, they did all learn about it. And then we had villagers come and sneak through and they were watching through the windows to learn all about this project. So everyone was excited about it. Here's some of the volunteers. We had villagers as well as some of the people on our committee come and actually build these two structures. It wasn't easy. They were chopping down trees and clearing grounds. Um, and this is the result. These are these two self-sustaining water hydroponic gardens. This, um, this little white foam that you see, the students planted um, a total of 350 miniature little seeds into this foam and then it's um, fertilized and then it's, they're all cut out and it's used in this hydroponic system. So we did two things, we bought these baby seeds and we also bought seedlings, so we also bought lunch. But we bought seedlings and you'll see them a little bit in a little bit. Um, they, were, they were about this long and, and we just wanted the kids to get excited about not the plants not taking so long to grow. So yeah, we bought them lunch. 
I'm not sure they were excited with the fact that the big sale pitch here was they're growing all the lettuces so they can have it for their school lunch, and then we brought them fried chicken and rice. So I don't, you know, it's going to be a bit of a sales there, but. Uh, so these are the seedlings that you can see. They're still really tiny, and there was 300 on that small piece of foam. The kids uh, cut them all out, and then they fit into little cups that go into the hydroponic uh, system. And there you go. You can see they're already growing. So that, that was this project. And those are some of the kids from the village saying thank you. And this project was 18,500 baht, and the only, all of that money went only to supplies. Um, we had donations from private members for the lunch, for the transportation there, for all the rest of it. Every single bot went to actually purchasing the products needed for this project. And I get um, updates every three days of what the plants look like, so they're growing. The second big project is from the IUE Foundation. We've worked with this amazing group for about three years. It's a wonderful Australian woman who has set up homes for ACA children who are orphaned um, or their parents are in jail or they don't have caretakers. And as a result of going and living in one of these homes, they're able to go to school and have a really functioning life. So this school houses uh, 10 girls and 9 boys. And the thing that makes it really special is um, Sue, the owner of, these, of this organization, is adamant about them not losing the ACA culture. So it's all woven through, throughout all of their classes, through their craft projects. They have, they have every Friday they dress in their normal, in the normal ACA outfits. Um, so their school assignments involve going to ACA villages and learning more about their elders. So it's a really nicely well-rounded organization. Anyways. So what we did for them is um, our donation for them was uh, 23,060 baht. So, so we had to, uh, we funded replacement of their classroom equipment. They also suffer, suffered from the huge flood that we did. Their bookshelves were made of that plasterboard so they disintegrated. So we bought them new school furniture with that. The boys house, the chicken coop was totally flooded out. So we purchased uh, cement, and they're currently starting to build a chicken coop out of cement, so their chickens won't escape. And the third part of that was some art supply funding. They put out a newsletter quite often, and I saw some of their artwork, and it struck me as being really beautiful. And I thought, wow, we should look at trying to do something with this artwork. So we gave them the supplies to paint to their little heart's content, my uh, committee went up um, and spent the weekend in Chiang, da, in Chiang Rai um, a couple weeks ago and worked with the kids and we, we went through all their beautiful paintings and selected a bunch of them. 21 of them have been made into cards. The cards I actually have for sale out front. Um, I've done three packs. Uh, there's one that's all specific to Christmas, which is perfect if you want to give money to your landlord or, well, I guess not your landlord, your juristic person, your hairdresser, whoever. But they're, they're out there. And they're 300 baht for a set of five with envelopes. Every single penny, every single baht of that goes right back to the school. They're hoping to fund a little Christmas party for the kids and buy more supplies for the children. So this is one of the little girls painting one of the Christmas ones. So you can see, they really had a lot of fun with it. These kids have no art training, and they, do, they really did an amazing job. And they were super proud when their photos were, were selected. You can see them drying. So here's a whole bunch of them just being, um, they were drying them. And here's some of the ones that we had selected with their authors, our creators. This, um, as I mentioned to you before, ACA is really important to keep at the forefront of these children as they grow up. The girls put on ACA dance um, as different celebrations, and they did this for us as a thank you. So they put on this lovely um, performance, and you can see them in their traditional clothing. The oops. Well, that really quick picture, I hope you paid attention, was all... <laughs> top one, top. Top, top. Okay. With all of the um, children that are at the, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do this. Anyways, don't pay attention to what's happening behind you. 
the picture at the end was just simply all the 28 children that came together. Um, there, there they are. They all came together to, uh, to get a photo at the end. The boys were actually invited over to the girls' house for this big painting party, so everyone was happy. Anyways, it was a really great day, and I would really, um, I really hope that you find it in, in your wallet to be able to take a look at those cards and maybe pick up a pack of them. Um, it's going to make a whole bunch of orphan kids really happy. So, anyways, that's my pitch. Anyone? Oh, thank you, Dave. Also, um, in addition to the cards, we've selected five of the top um, paintings and we're having them uh, professionally framed and they will be at our silent auction that will happen at the Christmas luncheon. So um, that's the other way that we're raising some money. Anybody have any questions at all? No? Okay, thank you very much for listening. Oh. So, while we were at our LT, LT, you guys know Ella, right? Everybody knows Ella. Ella came with us and she fell in love with a drawing. It was just a charcoal. And so she bought it on the, on the site. And she took it and had it framed and had a picture made of the, of the boy that um, put it together. And she's the president of the Philippine Community Association. And their, their sponsor is Aka. And she sold the painting to him last night for 2,000 baht. So that's kind of where we're expecting your bids to be. Um, <laughs> or uh, the other six that are color. Now this was black and white. So just to give you an idea, so this is just a, this is a five pack. Every one of the cards are different in here. This is kind of like summer scenes. Then we have um, more of a moody one. There's lots of different um, scenes in this one. Again, five separate photos. And then this one is five separate Christmas ones, and they're super cute, and they're out front right by the registration if anyone is interested. So, thank you.